farewell, and we think we've had a great farewell for you. And we're hoping you will embrace the next people, and if you're asked to do something, do it. The learning is great. So I would like to personally thank Debbie Holland. Debbie, can you come up here? <laughs> I'll come back there. Now, never mind. For Debbie, I will walk. Thank you so much for everything. Okay. 
There you go. That comes to, are we recording this? Absolutely, there they are. It's different now. We've evolved. We went from VHS, remember those? <laughs> to CDs, remember those? They don't do those anymore. We have people very unhappy with us, but we can do those. And then they call it what you want, flash drive, memory stick, that's where we're at now. And we're evolving. It's going to be all online. Guess what? So is this. We are going to take our little flash drive that Rick is creating for us, and we're uploading it to the Green Education YouTube channel. If you have not checked out that channel, you need to be there. We are also going to try to get all the other ones up there also. So um, thank you, Nancy, for doing it, and thank you, Burr, for making it all possible. So you will never be able to miss another one of these again. You'll always be able to participate. It's always better to be here, but we can't always do that. So you know, just kind of hang out and, and have a good time here today and learn, because what we do is going to be very important. Okay. Um, bathrooms, excuse me, are to the left, if you need to go, get it done. Talking during the presentation, okay, I've been a school teacher for 40 something years, I'll tap on your shoulder, no, 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 okay, see your cell phones, silence them right now, I will be silencing mine when I'm finished, please silence those. Mentoring. I would like that to mention if you want to talk about mentoring. That's a very important part of what we do here. And I'll take this over there. Deb's going to show you this handy dandy little book she has. And I'm going to silence my phone while she was talking. Can you, can you even hold this if you got it? Wow, well, I probably could. No, possibly. Don't, don't do it. Okay, okay. I'll hold this. Um, so I have this. Um, well, welcome, everyone. <laughs> First of all. Um, Close your mouth. What? Well, there you go. Oh, okay. Um, so this is a free mentoring um, finder. finder. Thank you, Courtney. Um, and in it has um, pencils and pens and a place for you to sign up. It's going to be um, at the, I was going to say outside, but it's not because I'm going to head over to the other area so we can set up this afternoon, but it'll be over there. So if you want to sign up, pull the sheets out of here and there's sign up. Um, there are mentors on the side and then there's times and um, it has classes so it explains the time, the day, the classes for you to sign up. Um, just some things about, um, you know, you could be there multiple times, multiple days. But if you have there's other people um, that need to participate, or if you've been in the front row quite a while, you might want to take a seat in the back row, something like that. Okay, someone's trying to take my picture. So. <laughs> there's no pamphlet or anything. Like that. That's going to be handed out later. Yeah. Let me know if that's an interesting. I'm serious. So, 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 so you can use this, um, you can use this, um, but you don't have to, too. So if you want to just stop by, it looks like there's not very many people, there's a judge over there, or a, uh, a mentor, excuse me, if there's a mentor over there you want to, you know, sit with and pick their brain about, you know, something, ask questions, give feedback, um, whatever, if that's the time to do it. This year we're doing something special. I have an easel that we're going to change out every hour um, the virtue that we'd like you to think about or highlight. So there'll be a virtue up for you to, you know, maybe break the ice with your the mentor that you're. Sorry, I keep going further. Um, so you can, you know, use that conversation. So maybe a certain detail head or eye size or outline. Um, so look at the, the dogs in the ring um, with that um, virtue in mind. And it's a good conversation starter, at least, yeah. to have with um, the mentor. And if there isn't a mentor there, strike up a conversation with um, somebody next to you. Um, I think I've covered most everything, so. 
question. Um, it's going to be in the uh, mentoring area. So there'll be probably a little table or a seat there. And so this is what the binder looks like. And inside the binder is this. Any other questions? It is ringside, yeah. By her. Next to the video. Next to the video. Big red flag. In this building. <laughs> in Utah, in San Diego. So say your name tags, guys, so you make sure you want them. I lost my name tag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, you can't get away with that. We're giving you another one. <laughs> nice try, and it didn't work. Okay. Um, with that, those name tags are important. You're going to need them for two reasons. Because you need to pick up your book, and I want to make sure you get it. You will pick them up only for me. I will either have my little cup uh, sweatshirt on, or I'll have a, a red or a blue canine full foundation vest. So you'll be able to find me. If not, check for me and Debbie Holland's sub desk, where I might be too. Um, so I'm going to check your badge. You're going to initial it so that when I hand you the book, I know beyond the shadow of doubt you have it. OK, questions about that? Now, we are going to be set up by Herb. I'll take that question in a minute. We'll be set up by Irv. You may not video what he is videoing. That is his to do. And we've had some people try to take their iPads or their phone and video it so that they've got it. No, no, no. You know, can't do that. Just letting you know that now. And, you know, the teacher will be by to tap you on the shoulder and smile. <laughs> and, um, I may be small, don't mess with me. <laughs> right. I'm not drawing you. Okay, there's a question back there. When are we going to know when the pamphlets come in? They're coming in sometime this afternoon. So, you know, if you've got things to do this afternoon, I'm going to be here all week. Um, you can catch me sometime during the week. Okay, make sure you do it. I really don't want to have to mail these out. Um, it's just cost. Okay, any other questions about that? Okay, we have the Collie Health Foundation. This seminar is brought to you by um, both the Collie Health Foundation and Breed Education. We teamed up to present this. In 2019, Robette Johns from the Health Foundation said to me, I have a great idea for a seminar. Would you like to do this with the Health Foundation? And they helped fund this. I would tell you that we, and I'm not going to tell you who, there was somebody who gave us a nice, generous donation to help offset this also, and we're most appreciative of that. We, you know, when they asked me, can I do that, it's like, we've never had that happen before. Yes, please, and thank you. So thank you very much to that person, and they are here today. Um, Cali Health Foundation is going to give you some information, so I'm going to hand this over to Isabel. Do you want me to hold this? Yes. Um, there will be some sign-ups that probably you all know are uh, part of the information I think you're going to get in your packet. Is that correct? Is about the public Yeah, no. Okay. So, um, the Colony Health Foundation is uh, sponsoring a um, CEA colobola study, and um, it's open to members and non-members of the Colony Health Foundation. You, um, gather all the information and, uh, that you need for the study and send it in and all of that information will be in um, in the paperwork that you eventually get. But you'll get completely reimbursed for um, the study submission. Part of that study submission that I'm, I'm in charge of or I'm involved with is that you need a genetic uh, CEA test for this to occur. And, um, they require that to be from uh, the Wisdom Health, which bought Optogen. So uh, you have to use the optimal selection panel from Wisdom Health as the only CEA um, genetic test that they will um, honor for this. If you need that test and you want to enter the study, um, I have a sign-up sheet that you can you can go on the Kali Health Foundation website and get the information so you don't need to sign here. 
But if you're pretty sure you want to do that, if you sign up, I will send you the links and everything like that. Um, we, uh, the Wisdom Health is also um, supporting this study uh, for us, even though the study is not through uh, Wisdom Health, it's through the University, University of Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. And that's where you'll be sending all the information. And again, I'm not just as up to speed on that, but you'll have all that information in your packet, plus it's on the College Health Foundation website. Uh, but um, they are generously decreasing the cost for participants in the study of the optimal, um, the optimal selection panel by $50, so decreasing it by $50. Um, you're going to get reimbursed no matter what, but it certainly helps the Kali Health Foundation because we uh, we are absorbing that cost for you to be part of that study. You have to submit all of the parts together and then send the uh, receipts and all the information for postage, your blood draw, and all of those things to the Kali Health Foundation treasurer, which is uh, Karen Anderson. And again, all of that will be spelled out uh, with the information on the or on the Kali Health Foundation website. But I do have a sign-up sheet, which I will just send around. If you think you might be interested, or I'm pretty sure you're interested, I can send you the information and then um, a link to get the $50 off. And that'll just help your upfront cost. Again, you're gonna get reimbursed for the whole thing if you submit all of it and uh, to, um, as directed, and then submit your receipts to the Kali Health Foundation. Okay, and I will keep that, we'll do that during the break because I don't want you to be kind of distracted while our speaker is speaking. So it's very easy. Um, I have sent in them, how many of you remember when we conquered with a PRA test? We finally got that test and made our dogs healthier. This is all about making the dogs healthier. If you're sitting here, you are a guardian of the breed. Guard it. Be part of the study. If your dog has, they don't want any normal eye dogs. We don't need normal eye dogs for this. We need dogs who are canine ophthalmologist tested as a physical test, you need that paper, or CEA. They may not have a column column. They can still be part of the study. They need those dogs also. They have to have something, he'll explain better than I will. <laughs> not pro here on this. I just need to know what to do. You also have to have that genetic test. We're looking for the genetic marker. You know, we had this discussion a couple weeks ago. I had a bitch that did not show a collarbone as a puppy. I took her in because she was having some dry eye problems when she was five years old, and I was shocked when they said she has a small collarbone. So if you just test your dogs once, it's not like the coloboma just suddenly appeared. It might have been missed. If you've made a mistake, raise your hand. Oh, you cowards. You've never made a mistake on anything? Take the wrong turn in the road? Okay. okay. The wrong turn in the road is not to be part of the study. Help us help our colleagues. They're paying everything. You have to pay it, you know, at the front. As soon as you... Don't get your blood draw until you have that genetic test. So you get your genetic test, you've already tested the puppy's eyes. You get a pedigree paper from the dog, four to five generations. Um, you get that oxygen test. They don't need all 50 pages, they just need to see the one page that said the dog was tested genetically. All your receipts, send the receipts in. Then send, then get your blood work done. You need to ship it, it needs to be shipped Overnight air, and that's expensive. If three or four of you go together, it's a lot less expensive. For me to send my samples, it was $100. But don't worry about the $100, you're getting it back. So send it. They are thrilled when they get it. They're close, but we're not helping by not sending anymore. Even. Okay, with that, it's not my turn anymore. And since we don't have our wonderful 